Well, hello folks, this is Jim Rizmeyer, and it's a beautiful day today, but it's not any day today. No, today is the Swedish National Day, and we will celebrate that by looking at some nice artwork that has been sent to me by you, or some of you. It's fantastic. And then we will also bake something. <laughs> bake without uh, having oven uh, or any ingredients. A proper Swedish fika is never never too late, no. Perfect. And then we will end with singing the Swedish national anthem. Fantastic. Well, hello. Now we're baking, yeah? So let's begin here. We will do most of the preparation uh, in my room because the kitchen is so amaz amazingly Im amazingly disgusting because someone doesn't really like to clean up and it's not me. It's a specific person. Hate him. So I don't have so much to work with. We have a little bowl and we have some ingredients. A little water, whiskey, um, Cinnamon. The only thing that might be interpreted as traditional Swedish is probably the seasoning. We use lots of cinnamon in Sweden. And no, cinnamon does not come from Sweden. It's because we have had a very long history of trading. Oh well. This is regular furawa <coughs> wheat flour. Or, eh, eh? I'm pretty sure it's wheat flour because they said it was. But these uh, sun roses on the package is very confusing. But it's wheat, I know, because it tastes like it. Look, professional. We have sugar. It's a slightly brownish sugar. We have now inserted sugar, maybe not half, but almost 40% maybe. So I guess it's going to be pretty sweet and oof, the sound of this is completely horrible. <laughs> oh well, let's have some more. And then we're gonna have baking soda. Let's put in some baking soda. And that's probably around... Oh good, don't breathe in baking soda and don't get it in your eyes, it's not good. If you don't know that. And this can is kind of stupid, because then you have to put the last one that kind of sticks onto the lid thing. Yeah, perfect. Here is cinnamon. Don't have too little. Don't have too much because then you will have liver injuries. I think it was liver. No wait. Oh well. It damaged your internal organs. If you didn't know. We'll mix around some. I don't think we'll have too much in them. I think it's just enough. Then we're going to add the water or the fluids. Let's do like that. Do a little hole in the middle here. Thing. And then we shouldn't pour too much. So we begin, we just pour a little bit in the middle here. And then we also take a cap of whiskey, like that. And if you have Don't be careful with your cameras. 
Um, well, if you have more equipment, it will be easier. But the thing is, you just put it in the middle, the fluid, and then you just um, wick around like this, and it should be just fine. Oh shit. <laughs> I really need to clean after this. Now this will be hard to record, but you can basically take your hand and just um, do the last part. But the dough is kind of that way now that you won't get messy. Okay, see you soon. You gotta love the irony of trying to properly celebrate the Swedish National Day, who cares, <laughs> in my simple accommodations in Japan. But that's fun. Let's go check out the gross kitchen. And here it is. You can see there is lots of stuff everywhere and some old trash that somebody left there and yeah, well, it's pretty close and see. But what can one do? And I have, it's so funny, I have so ridiculously few utensils and stuff so it's hard for me to do kind of anything. But I at least I have ho. Let's see here. Ho. Kai do bata. And as you might guess, that is butter from Hokkaido. Trying to thin it out a bit. And let's fry it in the fry pan. Sorry for being able to show so little. Here we have it. And it's frying. What to do when you don't have an oven? You have to go with the options you have. And that's my fantastic ceramic frying pan. It's very good. No, yeah, tastes kind of. It's completely eatable. I guess this is uh, this make it as a type of pancake, maybe. I don't know. So just fry it on one side and then flip it when the it's good enough, and then just enjoy. We'll prepare some coffee. If you didn't know, the Swedes and the Finnish people are in the world the top of drinking coffee. We drink very much coffee. And that's very funny because, like, our country is kind of the most far away from where we grow coffee. Oh shit, we have a problem. <laughs> it's too hot and it's very hard to flip right now. So that's a problem. Yeah, let's just focus on coffee. You know what, I should stop recording and I should read the results. Oh, excellent. A traditional Swedish fika. Almost. With a really tasty cinnamon pancake thing with, well, I burned it a bit so it's a bit of extra cancer taste. Really delicious. Mm. And instant coffee. I didn't have a tray to serve it on so I just took a, mm, a little case I had for my Licorice addictions. I will enjoy my little fika and I will see you later or very soonish. Indeed. And if that's not traditional Swedish professional baking, then I don't know what. Just kidding. Anyways, now. It's super cool, let's just have a quick little update thing here. 
We are now over 3,200 subscribers. That's really cool because it was so recently I made a 3,000 subscriber um, video, I feel like at least. But also, we are now over uh, one half million views in total on the channel. So it's actually like 500. 68,000 views more than that that we have all in all and that's super cool that's super cool also uh, one other thing is that uh, I thought it would be kind of nice to like talk serious subjects but I don't wanna I don't wanna have like on this main channel because it will be <laughs> gaming unrelated videos and that's not what this is about this is gaming related videos and a few randoms I don't know maybe I will move the randoms no I probably keep them here never mind but other like uh, talk show videos and such I will not do here of course because that will be a bit uh, not really related so I will create a new channel and I will call it Jimurism Serious channel of course that's a bit ironic because who wants to be 100% serious all the time I mean seriously so anyways that's going to happen and um, yes I can't say this enough because I never say it I want to thank you, all my viewers, so much for watching and so much for commenting and so much for liking because you know that without you this channel wouldn't exist. You're a very important part of how I can keep doing this because it takes time and it takes effort but it's worth it because it's super fun and you make it fun so please hang in there, please like the videos and please um, comment if you have anything to say. Because while well, you might think I have many subscribers if you are YouTubers, uh, but that's not the case. I still have time to answer almost every comment. And, uh, or if you're not a YouTuber, you probably think I have super few subscribers, and that's more close to the truth. But uh, for you that never tried uh, uploading a video or so, it, like if you're not extremely lucky, it takes a couple of years and some effort to reach like a few thousand um, yeah that's that now let's look at the artwork the elder artwork is the one that was sent to me by magic maltesers in honor of my call of duty series one of the least popular series <laughs> around the channel but i do it because it's fun you don't have to watch the content you don't like it's just for those who do and that's this beautiful English uh, image of Call of Duty 2 <laughs> and this is the MLG Pro Edition and as you can see this is my face edited in into the picture <laughs> and it's a really funny and stupid image actually uh, it's somewhere, I don't know where, so I, I won't show it, but uh, you see it there, it's very funny. And he also edited in a Luger in my hand, <laughs> and it looks really natural. It's so fun. And, and then also, you see her MLG Pro Edition. Isn't that fantastic? There might be some Illuminati around here, I'm not sure. By the way... Did you notice the Illuminati sign in my uh, in the intro video for my channel? There is uh, two Illuminati references in the video, and there is also a reptilian. Mm -hmm. That's secret, not really. But it's so fun because I thought someone would notice it, but not a single one have noticed my. <laughs> yeah my little fun. Uh, to the next artwork which is the thumbnail for this video it's the fantastic image made by Cobalt. It's um, it's basically a combination of the Swedish flag and uh, well my channel profile image in a like 8-bit manner and it's super cool. I like it, I like it. It's super fancy. 
So I thank you too, Cobalt, for that one. It is really nice. Yes. So anyways, if if you ever done some funny artwork of um, stuff from the channel, you can send them to me if you like to. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why. Maybe it's fun. I like it. <laughs> oh yeah. Maybe one day there will be weird, weird stuff on Deviant Art for me. I don't know. I, I don't think that's something I would want, but <laughs> you can't predict. I don't know. I don't know. Never tried it. I basically never gone into Deviant Art except for kind of look at my friends' uh, artworks. That's all. Well, um, on top of that. I think that... Do I have anything more to say? I think I have a... a let's see, a post somewhere of things I was supposed to look at, but I haven't really looked at it. Oh, yeah. Or maybe. Oh, well. Uh, that will be uh, uh, a secret till another time, I believe. Um, yes, yes, yes. Isn't that fun? Also, it's super cool. Um... Now I am super busy, kind of, yes, a fast life update or something, I don't know. Um, I am still in Japan, in Japan, um, that's why I live at a simple accommodation with not so many stuff, because, well, I'm not staying here very long. I'm staying here for the studying of the Japanese language because, as you know, a while ago I decided I will learn Japanese uh, and that's what I have been studying for the latest time. So I am in Japan and studying Japanese. Um, earlier I have been studying some Japanese in Sweden also. So that's why I'm here. Um, if I'm online at weird times and not so often it's because I'm quite busy here uh, also but I do try my best to keep up with content for you to enjoy indeed um, yes that's probably about that How, what more what more yes if you haven't noticed this the, the e2 mech tutorial is out because I know that it has been requested so many times. Hmm. I believe maybe that m might that be everything. W where is that posted? Uh, t -t 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 yes. Oh, it's nothing special in that one. Yeah. Oh, yes. One thing more. Um, I, I will try to make a look at it as soon as possible, but uh, it might be next week, next next week, I don't know, but you will see a fantastic little showcase of uh, Garry's mod builds that Rabbit Footed Kitty has built, that's actually my builds remade, and I haven't looked on them yet, and I'm so excited to see how the rebuilds uh, look and work, and what has been changed and everything, and some of them uh, it's not even from release dupe, so I'm not really sure how the rabbit foot, ra rabbit footed the kitty has created them, like only from eye sight or something like that. I have no idea, but it's really cool, and it will be super fun to check that out. Well, 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 that will be for another time. Let's finish off this national national day celebration video. Yes by singing the Swedish national anthem. And I'm Wikipedia the text here so I don't fail. Okay. Uh, the, the, the fantastic irony with this is that I'm in Japan and I'm celebrating alone. Not alone, because you are with me. <laughs> uh, I'm actually not very I don't usually do a big thing. Um, oh, I don't usually do a big thing with a, like National Day and such, so it's a bit unusual. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, let's bring all the special effects. Du gamla, du fria, du fjällhöga nord. 
du tysta, du glädjerika sköna. Jag hälsar dig värnaste land upp på jord. Din sol, din himmel, dina hängder gröna. Din sol, din himmel, dina hängder gröna. Du tronar på minnen från forn stora dar, då är att ditt namn flög över jorden. Jag vet att du är och förblir var du var. Ja, jag vill leva, jag vill dö i Norden. Ja, jag vill leva, jag vill dö i Norden.